Hey, what's up guys? So, uh, this is gonna be a commentary after the duel. My opponent actually opened up really good. He was playing, uh, the Fire Fist, uh, Rabbit deck. Uh, he opened up really good, opened up plus Rabbit, and then he went tanky, and then added Bear. There's actually an important ruling in here as well. Um, generally I don't like to do these, like, after commentary videos, but, uh, it was, p this is the best Elemental Dragon duel I've had, like, ever. Because, like, my opponent at least got to kind of play, and it was actually kind of a good duel. Um, even though I feel like my deck is still, like, way higher tier than his deck, even though he opened up amazing. Um, there's actually an important ruling in this video also. When Fire Fist Bear actually attacks, um, into Light and Darkness Dragon and inflicts battle damage, Light and Darkness Dragon is still not dead. Uh, it still stays on the field. You'll see it, uh, actually this turn right now. It's actually kind of an important, uh, ruling because I think, uh, Fire Fist will still be a pretty, pretty popular deck. So he tries to activate the effect of, uh, Bear and can't destroy. So he attacks my Light and Darkness Dragon. And then Bear's Effect activates, but Lad says NOPE! And then Lad destroys everything, and this brings me out a 2800 attacker. Uh, he's also got Reborn. Like I said, he opened up pretty good, I would say. Uh, but it just doesn't matter, because Elemental Dragon's gonna be Elemental Dragons. But, like I said, it's probably one of the better duels I had. Already went 15-1 with this deck, and the one thing I lost against was Light Sworn. It was Light Rays, and you know how Light Rays get with those huge monsters. Um, but uh, he actually Phoenix Chain on my Draco sack, and that made me a little bit sad. But it doesn't matter, because I'm making Big Eye, I'm going to steal his Utopia anyway, because this deck is really nasty. Um, but yeah, I feel like this deck is just too strong. And then, he, I mean, like I said, he still opened up pretty good, uh, had, you know, a decent amount of uh, back row as well. Um, I, I thought he was going to go for a Levier to get back Rabbit, but he probably just placed two of the Gene Warp Warwolf, so he was not able to do so. And you'll see I end up going for a uh, Redox play that was completely unnecessary, but I figured, you know what, why don't I get more cards banished for a return from the different dimension that I don't even need? He ends up activating duality into a mirror force, and so like, obviously, oh, which one's mirror force? Actually, both of them, there's two mirror forces down there. <laughs> I didn't know that, though. I know he had one because of duality. So I end up going, oh, let's just go for, um, big eye, because I couldn't make Draco sack. That's what I wanted to make, but there's not enough room on the field. So I put everything into, into defense mode, because he only had 2600 life, and I attacked with, uh, Temtempo. And honestly, I should have attacked with Big Eye, because, like, this one had no attachments anyways. So, he makes a good play. He acts, he attacks, uh, Utopia with my, uh, with his bear. And then he ends up blowing up my, um, Big Eye that still had one attachment. And then, um, his other face time was Mirror Force. I end up summoning a, uh, Eclipse Wyvern. I'm sorry, everything's going by too fast. You can go, like, go by, uh, go back and actually kind of check exactly what happened. But, um... I ended up attacking him um, with uh, my larger monster, just in case he had, uh, like, Horn of the Phantom Beast. Uh, I ended up attacking with... Uh, I forget what it was. It, it was another monster that had large attack. Uh, it wasn't my Eclipse Wyvern that attacked. And then uh, he Mirror Forced again. And then I had Return from the Different Dimension set, and so it was still the battle phase. Then I I brought out everything, and then um, he lost, because Elmo Dragon's going to be Elmo Dragons. But honestly, this was one of the better duels. And also, there was kind of an important ruling, because I actually was unaware uh, if uh, Bear would uh, attack. I thought the monster would be destroyed. Uh, then Lad would still get the effect of Special Summoning Monster, but I thought Bear would actually get the effect. So, kind of an important ruling, but you can see that even like a really, really high tier deck, I would say uh, the the Dino Fist, as uh, Konami is like, to, they like to call it, I mean, it's still a deck that is topping right now, but I feel like even though he opened up Rabbit, he had Tour Guide, he had, well, Phoenix Chan, I don't really know if I'm gonna call it, like, a, a really good card. It, it's actually a pretty decent card, uh, but sometimes Elmo Dragon's just like, I don't even care, bro. I'm just gonna go, and, um, what I wanted to do, actually, was to, um, I wanted to use, uh, my other Draco sack, but I, I actually didn't finish my extra deck in here. There's actually, if you guys remember, at the very beginning of the video, it only had 13 cards, and, um, I wanted to use, uh, my cards to make another, uh, Draco sack. Pop this card, free this Draco Sack, get more tokens, pop more cards. I honestly feel like Draco Sack is so, so, so beyond broken. The reason why is because uh, you activate its effect to get two tokens. Then during the same turn, you contribute one of them to destroy a card on the field. So basically, you're going to destroy one card in the field and uh, he's still safe. And it's just, it's too OP for me, in my opinion. Even though you can't attack, like, who cares? You get lad out, it's like... Pretty good. But I was impressed. Like, the duel actually lasted more than, like, you know, three turns. Uh, I've had so many duels where I go first turn nine Dark Dragon and people quit. And I don't blame them, though, because honestly, the deck is really OP. I need to find out what beats this deck, though. Um, 
so far, none of you guys commented in the comment section yet for my previous like discussion about the deck. Uh, but you guys said Imperial Iron. Well, I don't feel it's a good card. Um, this card just doesn't even care about it. Um, because you have the fact that you can discard this card and like another uh, was it fire. Um, although you know technically you'll have to have the fire card, but it's okay because Gold Sarcophagus allows you to add another one of him. Um, pretty easy, so you can just set up, you know, wait a turn and you just go for it. But yeah, probably one of the best duels uh, I would have to say so far this whole entire night. I've been playing it for a few hours now. Uh, like I said, 15 and one so far. So I'm sure you guys can manage to uh, get ranked up pretty high if you want to play this deck. Although, a lot of people will be super, super salty. I've had so many people get salty, but I don't blame them for being salty on this. Like, it's totally, like, it's almost, it reminds me, if you guys ever played uh, the format when Gateway was at three, Sheehan was at three. Oh, man, that thing was, it was, like, so dirty. It was, like, it was, like, it was, like, Gateway? Oh, game two. Like, it was just... It was dirty. But anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And again, if you guys know how to beat this deck, let me know in the comment section below because we got to figure out how to beat this deck. And so far, um, I mean, honestly, I don't think... I know the OCG players love Light Sworn, but the thing is, Light Rays, um, they can just spam those huge monsters and, you know, it happened. And, um, yeah, they, they can spam too many uh, large monsters that I, I just couldn't deal with. Um, and also it was because Judgment Dragon has too much attack and I, I got I got wrecked. But anyways, thanks for watching. Asian Ice signing out.